Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. You are so today is Wednesday, November 15th, and it's currently 3.24 p.m. And I wanted to do a quick video for you all today. And I do have a few updates, very, very quick updates. So I am leaving in a little bit. Not today, but like in a couple of days. And I will not be home, so I am going to pre-film the rest of my videos. I will, I will only be gone for a little bit, just like literally a week. So, I don't have enough time to pre-record videos for like to post three, four, or five times a week. Um, I will pre-record enough to post Saturday, Sunday of this week, Saturday, Sunday of next week, and then I'll be back. So... I'll be gone and I wanted to go ahead and change some babies before I go. I got all the cords and stuff guys. I literally have no space to record. So yeah, that's another reason why you guys don't hardly see me. There's a few reasons why you guys don't hardly see me anymore, but that's one of them. <laughs> Anyways, I have September for today's video. And let me show you guys what you're going to be wearing because it is super, super cute. It's such a tight space. Like, if I go the wrong way or do the wrong move, I'm going to knock down this ring light. Oh, I got a new phone. So I'm recording with my new phone because I thought it would be easier to record and edit on versus me recording on my camera. Then I would have to bring my SD card and blah, blah to edit, which I am literally not about to do. So... I thought it would be easier because I could just airdrop the videos to my MacBook. So, yeah, and I don't have to worry about storage issues anymore because I got the highest one, which is like 1 TB. So, I don't have to worry about the video cutting off or anything like that. And I just made my one sudden wrong movement in the ring light fail, guys. I am on a tight space over here. I have no elbow room. To do anything like I can't even move around without stuff falling or without me bumping into anything literally a disaster guys I can't get it but it looks so much better with the rain light because it's so dark without it like this is another reason why I don't make videos the lighting is horrible Get it guys i can't get it so i think i'm either just gonna leave it up like that and then call it a day because i literally can't get it and it's been like four or five minutes so anyways now back to me being annoyed maya and now my video's not gonna be happy anymore and i wanted to film another video after this because i literally only have today and tomorrow to film and tomorrow i have an appointment and then tomorrow i'm busy so really today especially while everyone is pretty much gone so oh, that just ruined my whole entire mood so she's gonna be wearing this super cute outfit that she got from one of her reborn aunts uh charmed reborns on youtube go ahead and check her out in her videos but she got this for us and this is super super cute you guys know I live in a desert, so it is extremely hot here still. So this is long sleeve and it's very, very appropriate. Thanksgiving is literally next week. I will not be here, but <laughs> I think this is perfect. So it's this long sleeve onesie. It has some flowers on it. Guys, would you believe I worked in a plant department and I know literally nothing about flowers? Like people, like customers used to come up to me. And they used to ask me like a whole bunch of questions and like i literally just had to like i didn't know anything but i used to act like i did <laughs> so this is what she's gonna be wearing as a matching bonnet and these really cute knee-high socks so let's go ahead and change her i do have a topic for today's video and that topic is um it's like do's and don'ts when selling these babies so just giving you guys some tips and tricks on selling 
and like how to get great feedback and have you know people coming and waiting to buy more of your babies that you sell and things of that nature because a lot of people don't really got the customer service to it and or a lot of people just are bad sellers so let me tell you guys some things that you can do to be like an honest seller like be honest that's number one be honest if the baby has flaws or boo-boos let the person know every time i sell a baby all my babies had flaws and i let them know i took pictures of the flaws i told them hey this is a flaw to me um it could not be a flaw to you so i was just very open and honest about all of the babies i've sold and then the buyer could decide if they still wanted the baby or not and usually they still do because sometimes the flaws are either not a big deal or they know that's in the nature of rewarning as this is hand painted handmade hand created so it's not going to be perfect i hope she has a cloth diaper i mean oh she doesn't i don't really want her to wear that diaper with this but I didn't bring another diaper because I thought she had a disposable one underneath it. Anyways, being honest about the doll's flaws is key. Because you don't want someone to buy a doll and then they have 99 flaws that they weren't aware about. Because that's how, you know, bashings get started. You know, people posting about you and calling you names and or filing for a dispute so you definitely want to be honest about your babies when selling another thing is when you're taking pictures of the babies don't use any filters because yeah that baby is cute with a filter on but is it cute without a filter more than likely no because you wouldn't have put a filter on there anyways <laughs> so you want to make sure your photos are not filtered when selling it when the baby's in your personal collection go ahead add filters on the baby but when you're selling you want to make sure that baby has no filters on it that way they can't say like oh you edited the photo and i thought the baby's gonna look like this and it doesn't it looks like that and then that just saves a whole bunch of commotion and again them wanting a refund. Ah. I literally have scissors. I literally have scissors. <sighs> Hold on, guys. Alright. So, yeah. Don't add filters on the listing pictures. Just have the baby in some natural lighting. If you're using anything but natural light, just state it. Let it be known. This is artificial lighting. This is what the baby looks like under a lamp. This baby looks like under artificial lighting this is baby this is what the baby looks like naturally with natural light no light outside that type of thing i'm out of breath this is ridiculous <laughs> but yeah so my next thing is to show the baby in different lightings like i just said show them outside show them with no lighting which is like natural light show them with a ring light without a ring light under a lamp and things like that that way people can see the baby's true colors because a lot of the times i see a baby and they have professional beautiful photos taken by their artist and then i see the baby up for sale from the original owner and i'm like that's the same baby that does not look like the same baby either the baby is like too red or it's like lacks a lot of details and so again it could be the the um, owner's photos but most of the time it's the artist's photos because they use like the fancy lighting and setup and editing so the baby looks a lot better in their photos than they do like in person so you definitely want to show the babies in different lightings not just one or two lightings where the baby looks absolutely breathtaking in but you want to show the baby in lightings where it doesn't look that flattering but you can see it's actual coloring so i think the whole thing that i'm trying to get at is just being honest just be honest and state the flaws 
show the babies in different lightings and then you'll have no problems communicate too if you're going to be late shipping the baby off because you're on a vacation for four days and somebody buys the baby let them know don't leave them hanging say hey i'm actually currently on vacation right now as soon as i get back i'll ship your baby out because communication is key and it goes a long way a lot of people lack communication which doesn't make them the best seller but everyone has to sell at a point at a point in time everyone has to sell so just basic knowledge would help so yeah usually when i list babies up for sale i do like up close photos of them I definitely do photos of like their flaws and then I even do like videos because you need to see the flaws. So I don't need any back charges or trying to have people return their baby because they're like, I didn't show them that the baby had a flaw. Like, uh-huh, yes I did. So I definitely make sure I specify all the flaws and put them in like the details because I put it in writing too, but a lot of you guys don't read like at all so i also make sure i take pictures of it state it multiple times this is a really really cute outfit so thank you again so again go ahead and check out charm reborn's channel subscribe to her and look how cute these are super cute all right now i don't have any other topics for my next upcoming video so let's just hope i think of something to talk about i want to take this long tag i kind of want to cut this you guys think i should cut this dang by the time i post this video i'm never gonna be here with her Ugh. still let me know if you guys think i should cut that <laughs> i can cut it on my, when i cut back did i put these on wrong oh no i didn't okay because you know the bowl's facing out but I thought the this side bow, I thought that was in. Alright. I'm going to fix her up a little bit off camera. I just don't want this video to be super, super long. I don't want any more 20 minute videos right now. Alright. Super cute. Super cute. Alright. Kind of like slouched her down a little bit. Okay. I have a water bottle. And toothbrush i won't get her hair super wet since she has to to buy it on anyways i really love her hair color and the funny fact about it is this wasn't even her hair color originally her hair color was black she had a lot more fuller hair too but i love it i love how everything turned out she is my perfection flaw oh flaws and all she's sleepy okay Looks like she has no neck when she's laying like that. Alright, time for the bonnet. And then we are out of here doing another video with somebody. Uh, I don't know who yet. Do I have half his on, right? One thing about me, bonnets are so cute. But I do not be know how to put them on, which way they go. I'm not that fancy. Okay, there she goes. I want to take a picture of her in this. But knowing me, I'm literally going to forget. So, let's hope I don't. This is zero to three months. And, of course, that goes off. This is zero to three months. And, it fits her really good. I know it looks a little bit big, but that's okay. Because I like this big. She's not going to be able to fit. Of course, the bonnet's a little big. But, Miss Girl got a little head. <laughs> But she's not going to be able to fit anything else. Like, newborn size, she's not going to be able to fit it. Like, I found this really cute outfit. And it was newborn size. And I was like, oh my gosh, I should put this on September. And I'm like, September is not newborn. She can get away with some newborn onesies. But it was like, it was a shirt and pants. She's not going to be able to wear that. And her legs are too long. So anyways, super cute outfit. Very somewhat quick video. Um, Sorry about the lighting, guys. I know it looks bad. Oh, let me grab the ring light. So you guys can actually see how cute she looks. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty much it for today's video guys 
Have a great rest of your day. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is my underscore reborns. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, read that well so you guys are going to be notified when I post another video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.